Welcome back guys. We are now in Mombasa. Oh my god, it is so hot. The weather is beautiful. I knew I knew this. I knew Mombasa was good vibes. We're gonna get our Uber now and head off to our um what should I say? Should I call it a villa? So that's it, our apartment. So yeah, we're heading off to the apartment now. It's about an hour away, but it's not too bad anyways. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a quick apartment tour for you guys, okay? Stay tuned. <laughs> This guys is the fucking star of the show. Oh like how cool is this? Got the pool and the view. Guys, this has inspired me to visit more African countries because it's so fucking beautiful. Like I am mind blown again. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go get some food now and yeah just chill for the rest of the day and take all this gorgeousness in. <laughs> just been mainly at the beach chilling and our chef has just made us some lovely ugali. lunch ugali with spinach and what's that then oh that's this is chapati chapati yeah yeah okay thank you ben <laughs> so i'm gonna try this food our lovely chef has made so that's the ugali Hi 
Hi, so earlier we went for a massage and we fell asleep. But guys, long story, I'll say that one later. Anyways, we're right now having dinner. And I will show you guys what it looks like in a minute. Hi everyone, so we just got back from dinner and yeah, have you ever been catfished by a restaurant? This was my, probably my first experience and it was very painful because you know, I'd seen the picture of the place and I had so, like I had high expectations but the food was, ugh, I don't even want to say like anything bad because <laughs> I feel bad. But um, maybe they just had a bad day, you never know. But um, would I recommend? I don't know. I'll give it a solid three out of 10. And that's for the three, so the ambience and like the um, service. The service was okay. But I don't know, man. I really don't know. It wasn't worth it, in my opinion. But anyways, um, we've been there. We're back now. We're gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Well, we're all gonna go to bed now because we've got... Um, like a underwater thing tomorrow morning so that should be fun and like a little boat cruise so i hope that's yeah nice but yeah i'm gonna catch some z's and i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys we are in the kisite national park so today we're gonna be doing some boat cruise um i like some water well snorkeling so we'll be going down to see some fish guys i'm scared because i can't swim but i've been told there'll be someone to support us so it's me i call it ancestor hey <laughs> see this girl anyways my girls are buying some hats emma looks like <laughs> i don't know you look like an egg <laughs> let's see mother oh she mother she's you hello <laughs> so um I am at home. I feel at home. I feel at home. So yeah, we're just doing some little yeah. shopping now. You want to say something? Uh, welcome to the territory. Okay, uh, nice man. Well, enjoy the day. Well, well. The day, <laughs> because the sun is uh, yeah. everywhere. I will see some nice fish. Yeah, you'll see some nice fish. Dolphins. Dolphins when you're hoping. Okay, good, yeah. good, good. I'm excited yeah, for that. Be, thanks for your kindness. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. Anyway, so guys, we're gonna go now and I will show you guys what we see anyway. So, thank you. Me, I'm just going. Jesus. Jesus. We don't they go inside with that. Oh, what color? Hey, God, where's my last jacket? so good i actually went in the water guys i'm getting brave anyway um we're just waiting for some people that have gone to see the village so when they get back we're gonna head back to like the place we got on the boat from and then we're just gonna go back to the hotel so and chill for the rest of the day really um tomorrow is our last day in diani sad but it's been really good oh my god the sun
Good morning, guys. So we are now leaving um, Diani Beach, Mombasa in general. I know this vlog has been all over the place, so sorry. We're leaving our apartment now. This place has been so nice. The host has been amazing. Like the caretakers, everybody, down to security, like everyone's been so nice to us. So yeah, I'm quite sad to be leaving. So now we're heading to the airport. We're off to, um, Nairobi again because we leave from thank you Here I so um we're heading back to Nairobi now um our taxi is here I'm running late as always bye <laughs> Okay guys, so we're now at the airport. Unlike the last time when we were like quite a bit really fine, we're very early today. We came in actually what's about an hour and a half earlier. So we're just sat here waiting for our flight. But yeah, Mombasa was great. The only thing I'll say though, guys, the mosquitoes, whew, fucking gangster. Oh my yeah, there are cats in literally every restaurant. So if you don't like cats, man, I don't know how you're gonna survive. Um the, the mosquitoes that's like my main thing you should you guys should see my legs i wish i could show you my legs but i've got mosquito bites everywhere so don't be like me bring your mosquito cream and obviously take a um, mosquito malaria tablets just to you know avoid any issues but yeah um that's it other than that oh and guys stay strapped for cash everything is pricey like how many times do we change money <laughs> loads of times like we literally about <laughs> <laughs> if you guys just come prepared okay that's what i'll say for now but yeah i'm just excited to enjoy our remaining two days so i will speak to you guys shortly bye bye hi guys <laughs> so it is day 10 of 10 of our trip to kenya and it has been such a relaxing trip like look at look at look at my guys look at my tan like i know it looks a bit weird because i've had different types of bikinis so bear with me okay allow it just let me uh we got back from mombasa two days ago on the 13th yeah we got back two days ago but we didn't really do much we've just been like chilling with friends we went bowling last night which was so much fun and yeah right now we just packed our stuff our flight is like 11 p.m tonight so we've still got a few hours to chill before we head off to the airport i've been talking about this Di diani beach um, when we got scammed but i've not got around to it, but i'll do it now so the girls negotiated with the beach boys right for the price of the um tour where you can see like dolphins and then you go snorkeling and the guy said it was five thousand like shillings including everything else so the, you know they sold it to us we went to the office and you know they said yeah everything is included la 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 tell me why we paid them the whole five well five grand each we paid them and when we got to the place obviously they didn't come with us because it's their agents in it when we got there they said oh you have to pay for the gear and like the um you know those fin things that you wear in your feet and then obviously yeah i it was just annoying because they had said to us it was all inclusive but when we got there they are they actually tried to charge us an extra thousand five hundred each so I was like, nah, I'm not going anymore. Like, I can't do it. That like, they're like, yeah, we've already paid the five grand. So what's gonna happen? The girls are like, well, let's just go in. What's So I was just really, really pissed off on that trip, like on the boat ride. We rang the guy at the place, and he hung up. He was like, yeah, I'm a professional. This is my business. I told you you were gonna have to pay for that extra. At no point did this guy tell us. Like even pictures, he said everything was included. At no point did he tell us it was not included. So like, and we had an understanding that it was anyways yeah so we got we were, when we got back from the whole thing and we went to the trip when we got back from the trip and we went to his office this guy was in there there was nobody we had spoken to everyone was gone so it's just like you know what we're not just gonna let this one experience experience rather ruin our you know trip but anyways it was fun this is probably one of the best holidays i've been on like i'm not even gonna cap like it is pricey like i said before but it's what it's been worth it in my opinion it's been definitely worth it so top tips i mean just go with the flow man no top tips just make sure you check because a lot of people don't know i think kenya used to be visa free for a lot of countries but now you need to check i actually rang the embassy like two three times to make sure like 
like what the requirements were, even including COVID, although everything's like relaxed now, we still rang them to check, like double, triple check. So we did that. So we had to obviously get a visa. We didn't need a COVID test because we were vaccinated. So we just had to upload our vaccination certs on like a platform that they use. So yeah, that was it really. It was pretty straightforward. That's pretty much it. So I hope the flight back home is just relaxing because I'm, I hope it's warm in the UK as well because I'm really, I don't know, I'm not looking. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching and for keeping up with my messy vlog. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a vibe, go with the flow, period. <laughs> so um, yeah, just like, subscribe, you know, share if you want. It's, yeah, just do whatever, you know, and comment, let me know if, you know, there's anything else you want to see. I mean, I don't know. If you have any questions, if, you, if you're thinking about visiting, Kenya in general I mean I can probably give you some tips and yeah just yeah let me know in the comments so yeah I'll be again going on a trip very soon I think I've got something planned shortly so we'll see in my next vlog all right stay take care guys bye <laughs>